Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tanae and this is Me Own Beauty. In this video, we're going to be doing a trying new makeup. Almost everything that I have today is new. There are a few products I'm missing, so I'll have to take some products I already have just to kind of slide them in there here and there. But for the most part, we're doing pretty much a full face of new makeup. It's been a while since I've done one of those. I've been doing a lot of vlogging and unboxing videos and stuff. Lately, I also did a clothing haul. I'll drop that in here somewhere if you guys want to check that out. I think the last time I did a trying new makeup video, it was the Oma Beauty Coming to America palette as well as the Bronzer Blusher Duo from Jaclyn Cosmetics. So I'm really excited to be trying out some new makeup today. I have the new Fainty Skin Tint Foundation. I also have the new Eyeshadow Primer from Juvia's Place. I have a couple new lip products. I have a new primer that I've never used before, so let's go ahead and dive in. I've already prepped my skin. If you would like to see the products that I use in my morning skincare routine, I did a video on my IGTV, so just hop over to Instagram and check that out. I also went ahead and I used my waving iron today. It has been a while since I've used that, but just like how full and soft and just wavy it makes my hair. But let's go ahead and dive into primer. The one that we're going to be using today is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Timeless Smoothing Primer. I got the little travel size. This is not new. I don't know exactly how long this has been out, but I saw this video where this girl was showing how she filled in her pores and acne scarring and stuff. She had a lot of pores right here. They were really big, a lot of scarring in that area, and she swore by this particular primer. So I thought, you know what, I'll go ahead and pick it up. I had some points on grabbed it from Ulta. I have not used this before, so this will be my first time using it on camera. It has a clean fragrance to it. Definitely, it's thick and putty. Kind of like the e.l.f. putty primer, but a little bit more thickness, so go ahead and apply that in my pore areas. Okay, I can definitely already see a little bit of blurring going on. They have this in a big full size, but I figured it'd be best for me to get the little travel because if I don't like it, then I'm not stuck with the giant like $40 full size. All right, I'm definitely seeing some blurring. It does look like it is filling my pores in, in this area right around my nose. When I first smelled it, it smelled like very lightweight, but now it does have kind of a perfumey smell. Now let's move on to the Fainty Beauty by Rihanna Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. When I saw this, you guys, I was excited. It's been a while since I've been excited about a face product, you know, primer, foundation, stuff like that. 32 milliliters, 1.08 fluid ounces. The shade that I picked up is in number 12. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's plastic, kind of like a squeezy bottle here. This is $25.50. It comes in 25 shades. It says it is humidity, sweat, and transfer resistant. It has a smooth texture that layers well over primer and skincare, so we will see. I'm using my same old skincare, but I am using a new primer, so we'll, we'll see how this works. Shade looks like it's going to be a good match. I'm going to use my little avocado sponge here to apply it. I'm going to go ahead and just squeeze a little bit out on my hand. It's definitely a lightweight formula. Don't smell any fragrance. This is supposed to be like a light to medium coverage. I don't know if it's buildable or not. I didn't say that in the description, but we're definitely going to test that out. The shade match is really good. It's blending right into my skin. It is so far layering very well over that Tarte Timeless Primer. All right, so this is what it looks like on this half of my face with the skin tint and this is without. It's a very, very lightweight formula. It has definitely evened out my skin tone, but it still looks like skin. I don't look like I have a lot of foundation on. I'm gonna see if I can build it up just a little bit in my cheek area. Okay, it's blending pretty well. I'm not seeing it wipe off as I try to put on the second layer. It's looking pretty good. All right, so far I am really liking the way that it looks. It has evened up my skin tone. It's covered everything that, you know, I like to cover, but my natural skin is still showing through. It's not like a heavy mask and it still looks very skin-like. So far, so good. I do not have a new concealer, so I'm going to throw on my pretty fresh one from ColourPop, my absolute favorite affordable drugstore concealers. I'm going to use my little tiny pit avocado sponge here from the avocado uh, sponge duo that was in that color, or not color prop, elf 
Chipotle collection. I hate that that was a limited edition collection because it is awesome. I would absolutely love an entire box of just these little bitty sponges. They blend the under eye concealer so perfectly. All right, under eye concealer is all finished. I'm gonna go ahead, it's been a few minutes. I'm gonna take a Kleenex. I just wanna kind of pat the outside part of my face to see if it transfers or not. Cause it does say that it is transfer resistant. Not transfer proof, but transfer resistant. So let's see. All right, so huh, did not transfer much at all. Nice. I'm interested in seeing how well it does for alpha day because I do have oily skin. I'm not going to have time to do a full day wear test. So what I'll do is I'll drop a pinned comment down in my comment section letting you guys know how wear, how well it wore throughout the day. Editing me here. I did end up being able to do a wear test so you will see a couple of check-ins that will be dropped in at the end of the I video. I also do not have a powder so I'm going to use my Believe powder. All I'm going to do is just set right in here my T-zone. I usually do my whole face but I think today I'm just going to focus on my T-zone because honestly it has set down pretty nice and I don't think I really need to set my entire face today, which I'm very impressed about. Today, I'm just gonna focus it right in the T-zone and then just kind of see what happens throughout the day. For my brows, I'm going to use my Joa Precision Brow Pencil. This one is in cool. Oh, this is also not like a new product. I use this in a try and fool face of Joa, but this is a really good brow pencil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my pencil and we'll fill my brows in off camera and then we'll come back and we'll move on to the Juvia's Place eyeshadow primer and to this Tarte palette, which I already have some thoughts on. Brows are done and you guys, I am really liking the way that my skin is looking right now. It looks very fresh, it looks very healthy. So far so good. Now we're gonna move on to this Juvia's Place eyeshadow primer and the Tarte palette that I picked up. As you guys know, I love using the I Am Magic Concealer as my eyeshadow primer. That is one of my absolute favorite base products to use for that. So when I saw the Juvia's Place was launching actual eyeshadow primers, I was very, very excited about this. It comes in three shades. There's like a light, medium, and deep. I got the medium shade, which is color number two. So I'm assuming it's color one, two, and three. As you can see, it's kind of a yellowy golden kind of a shade. That is what the tube looks like. That is so, so super cute. I like that. Prep Prime Eye Primer. So I'm going to go ahead and take my finger and we're going to apply this to my eyelids. I'm hoping that this will work just as well as the Eye and Magic Concealer, which you guys know is what I normally use, as I mentioned. The shade looks really nice. Oh, it's set down pretty quickly. It's very similar to the concealer shade that I use, which is number four five or 15. I'll definitely put that down somewhere in my description box if you guys are interested in what shade I normally use with that. This is setting down very quickly. It's got a little bit of tackiness to it. It doesn't look as even as when I use the concealer, but we will see how well the eyeshadow blends over it. All right, now we're going to move on to blush highlight in our eyeshadow. The palette they're going to be using today is the new Man Eater Guide to Glam Eye and Cheek Palette. As you can see, this one has a blush. It has a highlighter. It has four shades here, eyeshadow shades, which are like shimmery metallics, and then it only has two mattes. One of the reasons I wanted to pick up this palette is because of the blush shade. I'm gonna drop a picture in here and show you exactly what it looks like on Ulta. As you can see in the picture, the blush is this deep, rich berry, and then the highlighter is kind of a soft pink, like a soft baby pink. In person, guys, as you can see, I'm just going to show you a little bit of a close-up. This is what the blush looks like. As you can see, it is not that rich, deep berry shade that you see in the picture. And then the highlighter is more like a rose gold. There's not much pink going in it. If you shift, if like hold the palette in a certain way, you can see like a slight shift to pink, but it doesn't look anything like it does in that picture. So when I got the palette and I opened it up and I saw what it looked like, I was a little bit disappointed because, yeah, expectation, reality. Interested in seeing though what the formula is going to be like. The palette, as you can see, is also pretty cheap. For $30, I, I think they could have done a better job with this packaging. The Juicy palette, oh my god, it is so beautiful. Color story, the formulas, the packaging is very luxurious. It's really weighty and nice. This is just really cheap. So right off the bat, I'm not too excited or impressed. We will see what the actual formulas are like. Interested in that. 
Let's go ahead and do eyes first, and then we'll do the blush and the highlighter. Since I've already primed my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is going to be a very, very quick look, obviously, because we only have two shades here. First, we're going to take Pounce, which is kind of the taupey cafe caramel matte, and we're just going to throw that all over the eyelid and into the crease. Formula feels nice similar to the Juicy palette, blending very nicely. Nice, decent amount of pigment. So far, the formula does live up to the one in the Juicy palette, so that's nice. And it's blending really well over this primer, this Juvia's Place eyeshadow primer. So two for two. You know, sometimes when you're trying new products that are, you know, more than one new product, they may not work well together, but these are actually blending very, very nicely. Now we're going to take claws out and we're going to put that into the crease and then the outer corner. Blend that directly into the crease and focus that on the outer corner. The formula is really, really nice. I will give it that. Very similar to the Juicy palette. But as far as the actual shades and tones in the palette, I mean, as you can see, there is not much you're going to be able to do with it. This is pretty much it, unless you do like an overall with the that mauve shade, with the shade right here, or you just do like a shimmer one. I'm sure you can probably bring in that blush as well. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I wish there was another shade that I could use right in the outer part of the eye, the outer corner to deepen, but I mean, that's pretty much all we can do there. I'm going to go ahead and swatch the shimmer metallics real quick. Okay, these are a little gritty, but they do have a lot of shine. I will say the ones in the Juicy palette were definitely smoother feeling. They didn't feel nearly as gritty. Okay, that is what these shades look like. So they're a little bit gritty, but they do have a decent amount of shine in them. The question is, which one do I want to use? I think I'm going to bring in that gold shade. That one is called Uncaged. So we're going to take Uncaged and we're going to put that all over the eyelid. It's pretty, but yeah, that is definitely good. Already. Let's see what it looks like. I apply it with my finger. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, there we go. It's definitely one of those shades that applies better with a finger than a brush and you're definitely probably going to want to use an eyeshadow primer or an eyeshadow glue but or a glue adhesive what am i saying i mean it is pretty um but i'm honestly not not wowed yeah definitely definitely not wowed by this one i'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that claws out shade real quick and just kind of blend that into the lower lash line i'm gonna take spotted right here and then I'm going to wet my brush. I'm just going to go ahead and spray that one a little bit because, yeah, that formula is just it's a little chunky. I'm just going to put that in the inner corner real quick as my inner corner highlight. I'm going to take my ColourPop Gel Liner and Exit. I'm going to put that into the lower waterline just to kind of brighten things up a little bit. Before we do liner and mascara, I want to go ahead and throw on some blush and highlighter. So we're going to go back into this Man Eater palette. The blush is called Cat's Meow. I'm going to throw that all over my cheeks. I will say that I do like the little like um, tiger, not tiger, leopard kind of a print design that's embossed into it. I do like that. All right, let's see what this pigment is going to be like because in the palette, it definitely doesn't look anything like I was expecting it to. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, we definitely have pigment, that's for sure. It's not a matte blush. There's definitely a little bit of luminescence to it. It's kind of a satin matte, I guess we could call that. The shade itself is really, really pretty. It is very, very pretty. And it's blending very, very nicely, so I'm definitely happy about that. Now we're going to take the highlighter in Frisky, and we're going to put that all over our cheeks. Hopefully it's not glittery like the eyeshadows are. And it'll just blend right in. Okay, that's pretty. But it's more like a gold. I'm not really seeing any pink in it. It is smooth. It's a pretty shade. But yeah, that is definitely a gold. I am not seeing any kind of a pink. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit of a shift when you hold your head a certain way. But other than that, I am not seeing that 
kinkiness to it. So that is a bit of a disappointment, but it is very smooth. I will, I will give it that much. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw on some eyeliner. The one I'm going to be using today is from Colourpop. This is the BFF liner in Numero Uno. I don't have a new liner to try out today. I do have a new mascara primer, eyelash primer, and mascara to try out. Pick those up from Shopman. Say they are from the AOA brand. So I thought we'd go ahead and try those out in this video. All right, so let's move on to our lashes. We're gonna be trying out the AOA Studio Fat Lash Primer Mascara and then the AOA Studio Fat Lash Mascara. So you put the primer on first and then you put the mascara on. Let me go ahead and give my eyelashes a curl. I have used a primer, an eyelash primer and mascara from Shop Me Say before. It was the fiber lash one. I have no idea how that actually works. The one that I got was dried out. I think that it was expired because it was completely dried out. First, let's try this eyelash primer. So that's what the formula looks like. Long skinny brush. So I got an update on my car. Today is Sunday, April 11th. And I got an update this past Friday. They sent me a text and they said that my car, the repairs have started. So they got all the parts in. So they're finally working on it. I'm hoping that it'll be done this week. So next week I can get back to work. All right, so that is what it looks like. It's coating every single lash, which I like. It took Progressive a while to finally give them uh, the okay to go ahead and start the repairs, and then they had to send off for the parts. So I'm very excited that they've actually started repairing it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit on my lashes for just a minute. Just kind of give it time to really set up and then we'll apply the mascara. Primer is a little tacky. It's not dry down. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not, but let's go on ahead and apply the mascara. So this has a nice big wand plastic. Let's go ahead and apply this over this primer and see if we get some nice fat lashes. The brush is definitely getting into every one of my lashes and it's separating. I like that. All right, so guys, what do you think? So that is with one coat. So far, I think it looks nice. My lashes look fuller, they're longer, they're more separated. Do I feel like they look particularly fat? Not necessarily. They're not giving me like the, the nice thick full effect that I get from my Essence Lash Princess Mascara, but it's a nice formula and it is building nicely and it's separating nicely, which I like. This brush is very, very nice too. All right. I am liking the way my lashes are looking. They're not like super thick and full, but they have just the right amount of thickness, just the right amount of length and separation. Happy about that. All right, now the last thing we're gonna be doing is moving on to lips. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything down. I probably should have done that before I do my mascara. I always forget to do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and try out this Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. This one came in my last BoxyCharm box. It says, mist all over your finished look to lock it down and prevent smudging for up to 16 hours. Shake well before you so. Just go ahead and give this a shake. It's a pretty bottle. Smell like anything? Give it, let's go ahead and prime the bottle a bit. Smell like a slight hint of rose. All right, so let's go ahead and spritz our face. It's a nice sprayer. I'm gonna go ahead and dry that down and then we'll move on to our lips. That actually set and dried down pretty quickly. Usually I have to sit here for a minute to get it to really, really dry down, but that dried and set down very quickly. Very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the lips. I have two lip pencils from Essence and then I have two new liquid lipsticks from NYX. These are the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencils. I think these are like $1.99. I got them in shades Happy and True Me. I don't know how long these have been out. These are just, they're new to me. I needed some more nudie type shades. I went ahead and I grabbed these and then I grabbed these from Walmart. These I have not seen before. They are the Filler Instinct Liquid Lipstick. These are from 
NYX. Let me know if you guys have tried these before. Like I said, I have never seen them. I haven't seen them mentioned or anything, but they looked interesting and the packaging was really nice. The little lips, I thought I'd go ahead and give them a try. I got these shades, Bezos and Juicy Pout. And I think for this look, we're going to go with the Juicy Pout, which is more of the mauve berry tone. The other one is a really pretty corally red. I'm going to go ahead and give these lip pencils a quick swatch. I don't know if either one of these will work very well with the lipstick, but let's see. Okay, so you know what? I think this one right here is going to work pretty well. This shade is in True Me, so we're going to give that one a spin. And just because we are Oh, all right. You know what? I thought these were liquid lipsticks are actually like balms. So it's not a liquid lipstick. It's like a lip kind of a balmy shade. So I want to see what this formula is like before I actually apply it. Okay. So it's very, very creamy. I don't smell a scent. Kind of looks like it's a sheer to medium as far as the opaqueness. Okay, they're very, very pretty. I do like the way that they look. But I'm going to go ahead and give this one a try. I don't know why I thought they were liquid lipsticks, but no, it is a balm. So let's go ahead and line our lips with the Essence Lip Pencil first. All right, it feels very creamy. It's going on very smooth. Now let's apply the Filler Instinct kind of lippy balm here. I don't know what this is supposed to do. I don't know if it's supposed to plump up your lips or anything. Like I said, when I saw them in Walmart, this was my first time seeing them. So I don't really know anything about them. Feels very, very nice. Very creamy. All right, that feels very nice. I do feel a slight tingle. Yeah, I am definitely feeling a tingle. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is supposed to like plump up your lips a little bit. Very comfortable formula. Feels very, very nice. All right, so let's do some final thoughts on all of the new products that I use today. It's been about an hour or so, so I want to go on ahead real quick and do another transfer test and just see if the skin tint is still holding up. So I got my clean tissue here. I'm just going to kind of press along my cheek in. There's the slightest bit of transfer. I don't know if you can see that just slightly, slightly, but for the most part, it is staying in place. It has not moved as of yet. So while we're on it, let's go ahead and talk about the skin tint. So far, I am really liking this. It's very, very lightweight. My skin looks very fresh. It looks very healthy. It definitely looks like skin. Like I don't look like I am wearing a foundation at all. My skin just looks very, very healthy. The Tarte Primer, the Timeless Primer, my first time using this. Like I said, this is not new. It's new to me, but oh my God, my pores look so good. Everything looks so smooth in here. Even the areas where I have like a little bit of acne scarring, that looks smooth and blurred. I am very, very impressed with this product. And it's something I never would have heard of or thought to use if it wasn't for that video. So there you go. First impression, I am really liking the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. This set down so quickly, kind of melted everything together. I like the finish so far, but you know, this is one of those products you just have to kind of try out for a little while to really know how well it works. But first impressions, I really do like it. The Juvia's Place Prep Prime Eyeshadow Primer, I really like this. I definitely enjoyed it just as much as I do the concealer, the Eye Magic Concealer. This one's a little more lightweight. It's not as thick on the eyelids. The eyeshadow blended well over it. Definite win there. The Elf Soft and Precise Lip Pencil, very creamy, very smooth. Went on without any kind of effort whatsoever. And then the NYX Filler Instinct Lip Pounce. This was a pleasant surprise because I thought it was a liquid lipstick and it turns out it's a balm. My lips feel so good. They feel so smooth. I do feel a slight tingle. So it's a light plumping. It's not like super, super intense. So what do you guys think? Do my lips look like they've been filled and juicy and all that? I like the way they look. Normally I'm not a glossy balm person, but this is a really pretty comfortable formula. And then last we have the Tarte Man Eater Guide to Glam Palette. You guys, this palette, just, I was not very impressed. It did not really do a whole lot for me. The blush, even though it doesn't look like it did in the picture, this I will say I do like. It blended very nicely. It was pigmented. The shade, the tone, very, very pretty. The highlighter though, I was expecting a light, soft, 
pinky, baby pinky type highlighter. That is not what I got from this at all. This is gold. There may be a slight shift to a pink in it when you hold your head a certain way, but for the most part, this is not at all what I was expecting. It's a pretty highlighter, but there's nothing special about it. It's like it's not worth a $30 palette for this particular highlighter or the blush. Same thing with the eyeshadows. You only have two mattes here, so there's only so much you could do with this palette. Point blank. I mean, you really can't do much with it at all as far as versatile looks, so it's not very versatile at all. And the shimmers, very, very gritty. They go on very well with your finger, but if you want to use a brush, you're going to have to use a glitter primer or a glitter adhesive. This is not going to go on with the brush on its own. The mattes are okay, but they're nothing special. This palette, in my opinion, was not worth $30. The shades, packaging, everything was just, it just was not impressive. This was not very exciting. I would say skip this palette. Go with the Juicy palette if you're looking for something new from Tarte. This palette, I would just say skip it. All right, so this is after four hours of wear time. As you can see, it is still looking pretty good. I'm standing in my bedroom in front of the window with the natural light coming in. As you guys remember, I did powder in this area in the T-zone just a little bit. It's a little bit of shine coming through. Not bad. Everything is still looking pretty good. I'm going to take a Kleenex and do a quick transfer test. All right, guys, after four hours, you can see there's a tiny, tiny bit of transfer right there, mainly where it was a little bit oily, but other than that, it is still looking good. I'll check back in in a few more hours to do my final wear test. All right, so it is about 6 o'clock p.m. It's been about seven hours since I first applied it, so this is going to be my final check-in. I got Sam and Dean Winchester back there helping me out, looking over my shoulder there. As you can see, it's starting to get a little oily, like in my T-zone right in here. It is breaking up a little bit around the nose area, but for the most part, you guys, it still looks really, really good. The whole overall foundation, as far as itself, the skin tint as a whole has not broken up. It still looks really good, even around my chin. A lot of times by the end of the day, the chin area is where it's really starting to break up. I'm gonna do one more test with the tissue here. I wouldn't be surprised if we have a little bit of transfer because my face is a little oilier. So I'm gonna kind of pat in the oilier areas and yes we do have a little bit more transfer but even so it's still just a little bit i think it is held up very well now mind you i have been indoors all day long i have not been and been outside so i'm definitely going to give this a test in the actual elements in the heat in the humidity all that jazz i also wanted to mention real quick the eyelash primer and the mascara because i did forget to mention that in my final thoughts i like it but as you can see after seven hours it has definitely faded it's not a long wearing mascara now i only paid a dollar for these so for what i paid for them they did very well so you know just kind of keep that in mind this could be a, a really nice like everyday mascara but if i want something like just glam and impactful this is not going to be it i will probably pull my essence Lash Princess Mascaras, but overall, you know, the wear test of everything that, you know, I wore today did pretty well. So that is the end of a, another Try New Makeup video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have used any of these products and what you thought about them. If you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed, I would love it if you hit subscribe and join my little family. And if you'd like to be notified of any videos that may be coming up in the future, just be sure to tap the notification bell down below when you'll be notified each and every time. Be safe, guys. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.